All right, in three, two, let's turn on our cameras. One, and go. Welcome, everyone, to the Indie Game Academy. Oh, yes. Jess is a full wizard hat. Ulysses <laughs> still has a towel. It's beautiful, Ulysses. <laughs> we love you. Blanket. All right. Blanket. <laughs> Blanket, blanket, my bad. All right, everybody. So this is indeed the season three announcement of the Indie Game Academy. So every six months, excuse me, every three months, we announce a new season of IGA that is mostly just thematic. It's mostly for funsies. We have been in season two Network Nexus for quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. And uh, we're going to talk about it. Can everybody see my screen? All right. As I go through the deck, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, no, I can still watch the chat, actually. Okay, sweet. All right, so then let's begin talking. Uh, welcome to the Indie Game Academy. Y'all know who we are at this point. We are an online game development school dedicated to empowering the game creative to pave their own path. We dream of a world uh, where indie devs can pave, uh, can financially support themselves, where all indie devs can financially support themselves doing what they love, making games. In that interest, and also just because it's fun, every three months we announce a new season here at the Indie Game Academy. Now you'll notice that this slide says semesters, and that's because there's two different terms, just to confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> so a semester at the Indie Game Academy is six months long, uh, so we have two semesters every year, a spring and a winter. We're currently in the spring semester. Wow, amazing. Uh, oh no, we're in winter semester. Excuse me, I actually got that mixed up. Because uh, we're coming towards the end of the year. Wow. Uh, the House Cup lasts the semester. So the House Cup, as you've seen, lasts six months. We just completed our last House Cup, and we just started a new House Cup. But in addition, mostly just to make it fun, to keep things interesting and to gamify ourselves a little bit, we do two seasons every semester. So three times uh, uh, every three months, um, so four times out of the year, we start a new season. And yes, DJ, it's just like a battle pass in a live services game. You've seen seasons in some of your favorite games like Deep Rock Galactic, uh, as well as Fortnite and Apex Legends. It's all to flavor exactly what happens in the universe of the Indie Game Academy. Uh, every season focuses on a specific topic that we believe will be valuable to our community. Hell yeah, let's go. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, great. Um, <laughs> and we use this to prioritize community lectures, scheduled classes, and so much more. Now, before we talk about Season 3, let's talk about how Season 2 went. So, this one's for you, Alec, who didn't know that there was a season. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> where have you been, yo? All right. Season 2 was Network Nexus, where we focused most, most exclusively on networking for our community, because, as we all know, networking is basically how you get jobs in this day and age. Now, the season went super well, actually. We had about 800, over 800 attendees to our networking-related events in total. We hosted over 30 free events over the last three months, about 10 a month. Um, and uh, by our estimates, over 3,000 new LinkedIn connections were made between our community members and uh, other people. So that's pretty sweet. I'd say we did pretty well with the networking side, and congrats to all of you. Um, oh, and of course... The latest season of the Indie, the latest cohort, goddamn, of the uh, Indie Game Academy <laughs> Level 3 program concluded, and we had our biggest pitch night that we've ever hosted, which was just a ton of fun. Um, thanks to Ulysses here, we actually have a video that we prepared to highlight what happened in our uh, pitch night. And for all of those who are students in this room, um, I know many of you are, um, you haven't seen this yet. This is new to everybody. So this is just created by Ulysses for all of you. Let's check it out right now. Oh, uh, wait, can we hear audio? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Let's we'll start it over then.
Oh my god. That is so hype. Can we give a massive round of applause and all of your favorite gifts to applaud the students as well as Ulysses for putting that together for us? Oh, your favorite so celebratory good. gifts. So good. <laughs> um, and for all those who are students, um, this is going to be launched live pretty soon here. Did it just get launched live, Ulysses? Yeah. Awesome. Yep. So there's links. <laughs> nice. Um, so you'll notice that there's links in the actual YouTube video if you go and head there to play all of the games and contact the students as well. Um, so if you want to go check out those games, we uh, strongly encourage you to. Um, and this is not made public yet. I won't say exactly who they are, but two of those eight games are now in communication with publishers. Um, so some of, uh, some of y'all are absolutely kicking butt. We're really proud of each and every one of you. The games you've created are incredible. Best cohort I've ever seen, for sure, every time. All right. So let us salute Network Nexus and bid it adieu. Give a nice little salute. We thank you. Thank you for helping us learn to network and stuff. It's been great, but now move on to bigger and better things. It's time to announce Season 3 of the Indie Game Academy. Let us begin. Now announcing. Is everyone ready? Can we get like a little drum roll? A little drum roll, everybody? Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm the only one you so can beautiful. hear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Hold on. Here it comes. Jess has decided to leave the Indie Game Academy community to become the community manager at Dredge. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. Oh, that was a joke. nice, guys. <laughs> Dredge forever. <laughs> Just for everyone to know, we went to the Indie Game uh, Federation Awards <laughs> last week at GDC. Jess was totally not interested, and then Dredge came up as a nominee, and she started freaking out. <laughs> All right, that is not a joke. <laughs> yes. All right, for real this time, <laughs> the season announcement, IGA Season 3, is a drum roll, please. Wait for it. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Season 3 of the Indie Game Academy, Founders Beginnings. Ooh, yay! Yes. <laughs> Can we get maximum celebratory gifts and emojis in the chat? I hope everybody is excited. Press F, please. Uh, if you aren't clear what this means, that means we're focusing for the next three months on helping all of you, those who wish, to start your own indie game studios. It is no secret <laughs> that the industry is kind of messed up right now. Uh, it is quite hard to break into the industry. So we've discovered a couple of things. We've discovered, one, that over 86% of our community of indie devs in our community want to start their own studios. That is a staggering number. Uh, nearly 9 out of 10 of you are like, yes, I want to start a studio one day, or are already actively doing so. And yet, on average, across uh, the world, less than 7% of indie game studios make enough money from their first game to justify a second one. So basically, founding a studio is really hard, and we all want to do it. So we decided after a bunch of conversations um, that applying kind of sucks right now. Really difficult. It's hard to get started, and it's hard to get jobs in games. Um, so we decided, screw it. We're not even going to focus on that. Of course, we'll keep giving effort. Um, of course, we'll keep focusing on getting you hired. Of course, we'll keep giving you thoughts, opinions, and classes on getting you hired. But let's focus this next season, this next three months, on founding instead. Screw it. Let's make our own studios instead. So major events. I'm going to give you a couple of the major events and then hand this off to Jess to talk about some community stuff. Uh, we've got three major events to announce right this second. First and foremost, we're going to have a three-part founding panel. If you've been to our networking or our portfolio building classes in the past, this will be very familiar to you. So about 90 minutes with uh, a little bit of lecture time from three of our guests here, these wonderful people, all founders in the indie game space. Um, we will then answer a bunch of questions. We'll have a live panel with all three of these people, and we'll have a bit of a live exercise to get you started on founding studios. So Renee Gittens, uh, there was a infamous TikTok by her where EA destroyed her game Potions that was trending on Steam. If you don't uh, know that, go look it up. Um, we met her at GDC. She was really excited to come collaborate with us. 
Shaolin Shodan is actually one of my original mentors. He's a man that I really love, and he's the founder of Masala Games. So he is representing people building studios outside of the United States and making it work. And then Keisha Howard is somebody all of you are probably familiar with. She is the founder of Sugar Gamers and Sugar Gamers Labs and is largely a community builder for the indie game space. In addition to learning how to found a studio, um, we want to give you some help with crowdfunding because that's something that a lot of studio founders care about. Um, they don't want to deal with publishers. They want to start by self-funding. So we're bringing in some of our old friends, the founders of Next Level Web, Andrew Lowen and Sean Bradford, who've actually worked with us and taught with us in the past. They're going to give some lectures on crowdfunding specifically. And then finally, we're really happy to start partnering with Eric Kovac, who is the founder of Tilt Games. Tilt is a small-scale publisher that focuses on streamability, getting games out there um, that are uh, good for streaming and good for videos, um, good for video content. Um, and he is largely focused on sustainable studios. So he doesn't like building studios that make millions of dollars. He likes building studios that sustain people financially. That's what he's aimed at. So we're bringing Eric in, um, and we're hoping to bring in a couple of other publishers. We haven't confirmed them for today's date um, to give you some publisher best practices. So if you aren't crowdfunding and you are aiming for publishers, we want to help you figure out how to do that. So those are our big events coming up in the next three months. But let's talk about community. Jess, do you want to take over? Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, <clears throat> so as you guys all know, we do have the weekly podcast uh, every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Um, and we have some amazing guests that come on. But we are especially excited about two upcoming guests that we have over the next month. Um, if you want to bring that slide. Yay! So on April 17th, we're going to have Ida Figueroa. And then on May 1st, Amir Sapa is going to be gracing us with his presence. We finally so got Amir! <laughs> We've been trying so hard for so long. <laughs> we're really excited about this. So stay tuned. You'll uh, make sure that you like the event and it'll ping you when it uh, when it comes on. And I hope you guys all join live. We may have, I feel, I feel like we may have to extend it past an hour. <laughs> the this might be like, an extra bonus episode if he'll allow for it. Um, I don't know what his time is and we don't want to take too much of his time, but I know that a lot of people have questions for him and are really excited to interact with him. So please come May 1st. Same with Ida. Uh, these are both incredible people. We're so excited to have them on the podcast. Heck yeah. Do you think he'll sign him? My forehead says pebbles. It'll be a little hard <laughs> over the internet, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. Maybe we can hook up. <laughs> Maybe we can get you like a robot with a little pen, and then he can control yeah. it with a stylus or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, next slide. Um, so we do also have another jam coming. Um, May 30th to May 7th, um, we're going to be having a, a bit of an extended jam. Uh, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, for this, the jammers will uh, build a game over the course of four days. Uh, and then over the next four days after that, they're going to work on a pitch. And then on June 7th, we're going to have a few judges come in and we're going to have a live, live mock pitch event um, in which all of the games uh, and all the team members will practice pitching their games to the judges. Um, we're really excited about this. I will have a couple of networking events uh, on the day of our uh, announcement on May 30th, like I did last time for the net networking jam. Um, and I hope to see you guys all there. I'll post a link for this uh, after this. We'll post a whole bunch of links, pro we promise. <laughs> yeah, you can drop it um, right now or after you finish your, your third slide here if you want. I'll fi after Get I people finish started slide, signing yeah. up. Yeah, sounds yeah, good. Definitely. Okay, perfect. Um, and then, sir, so for more community doings, we do have a bunch of more class and classes and workshops that are going to be coming up. Um, we have Nick Gurley, who's going to be doing From Code to Company. Sam Castro is going to come in and talk about video game law. We're going to work with Alessandro for monetization and commercialization. And then Pebbles is going to be coming in to talk about community building. Um, we're also bringing back the community lectures. Uh, if you have an idea and want to practice your teaching chops, uh, I'll post a form for you to fill out. These are really popular. Uh, you'll We'll have about one to two a week, depending on how many submissions we get. You do get points, house points, coveted house points for every lecture that you do. Um, and it's a great way to just practice and share the knowledge that you've, you've gained over the course of your time with us and your uh, video game development career. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also working Amazing. on CoffeeBot. <laughs> CoffeeBot yes. is going to be a fun little... A virtual cup of coffee uh, in which you can sign up for the coffee bot and it will connect you with somebody else in the discord um, 
and it's just meant for uh, an additional way to network, get to know other people, um, and there will be more information about when that will be going live and what the rules and parameters are because we, of course, want to make sure that this maintains to be a safe, comfortable environment for everybody, but I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Can't Amazing. wait for Coffee Bot. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for all of She's been talking about all of the events here is just uh I'm I'm so excited for everything. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Um Ulysses, your turn. And Jess, drop those links. Uh so if anyone's interested in the jam, sign up right now. If you want to give a community lecture, we strongly encourage you to apply. Um we've had community lectures on like freaking sewing or playing the ukulele. Obviously, we're gonna give priority ones that are game development related and especially those that are founding studio related. Um, for this next season, but absolutely, if you have something cool that you want to teach the rest of the community, it earns you 10 points to give a lecture, um, and uh, you're able to give points out during your lecture, so you can do a little nepotism. That's always fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell encourage us. that. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about supporting emerging markets, Ulysses. All right. Well, as, as we've asked before, our community you know that like there's an issue with emerging markets that it's really hard to to actually break into the industry it's, it's hard as it is right now but mm -hmm. it, it's it has an additional degree of difficulty if you are from one of these countries and i understand that myself because i'm from one of them so because we've understand that point we want to give the community a, a, an additional support you know, like there's approximately half a million game developers living in emerging countries. And, well, that's a pretty big number. That's quite a lot of people. For so, context, there's probably only 300K or so in the U.S., so there's more outside it. Yeah. And, well, can you go to the next slide, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we wanted to look for ways to support all these game developers in emerging countries. So with that in mind, we have already established what well, our first steps toward that goal will be. And we're starting that during this season with the next few points. First, we're going to have a new category of scholarships aimed at students from emerging market countries. Secondly, we'll be translating some of our online resources to multiple languages to help the people that have want to really get into game development to have an easier path, especially if there are people that do not speak English, which right now is like one of the major, uh, one of the major blockages for people outside of the U.S. And also we'll start naming regional leaders, starting with the community from Latin America to help us with all of this, with, with, with all of these with all of these that we want to do for the communities. So, and also we want to start with a more definite definite step because all of these are th things that we're going to slowly build towards. But right now we have something that we can start announcing. And that's that for the next level two, can, for the next level two, which starting in April 22, if you want to join, you can join until April 15. You can find our links to register to that in our social media, in our link tree, by the way. <laughs> You'll be building a 3D platformer this time. And also, for the first time ever, we'll be giving three special scholarships to people from emerging market countries, which will be around $200. That's, uh, I don't know what it is, like 600% like discount from the full price. <laughs> It's less. It's a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's um, and to be clear, this less, but... <laughs> math is hard. Somebody, I some smart community member, tell us. Um, to be clear, this also doesn't take away from the existing scholarships. So we're literally adding more scholarships. The existing scholarships that are open to everybody will still be there. This will explicitly be for those coming from emergent countries. Yeah, and Next. besides these special scholarships for level two, we also will be opening applications for community lectures aimed at the community and the people from Latin America, specifically talking about community lectures in Spanish as well for people that do not speak English. And yeah. the links for this I'm sharing 
the applications right now on the chat if you want to check those out. As I said, like right now we are only opening them for Latin America, but we'll progressively as we get our regional leaders and we start developing this step by step because we want to make sure that everything that we do feels IGA. So we don't want to rush these things and end up with a generic course. So we want to really make sure that we can give you like the best that you can get out there. Amazing. Um, and uh, those are still worth points. So if you are a Spanish speaker, um, you are welcome to give lectures. That includes those who are not in Latin America or who are not in uh, emerging uh, market countries. Um, if you can deliver a, a fun community lecture in Spanish, you are welcome to apply to the Spanish speakers um, community lecture section. We'd love to have you in. <clears throat> and well, a quick mention for our Game Dev Career Guide. It's getting its first big update. If you are not aware of what the Game Dev Career Guide is, it's like our most massive resource out there. This thing took like two months to, to build, to create, to gather all the resources. More than it's two months, I think. <laughs> yeah, you were working on know. this for forever, my guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just saying two months because it feels better that way. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. yeah, this is a compilation of, res of free resources and books and all the things that you need to actually define what your career path is going to be and to help you get there. So we will we are working on a version 2.0, mainly focusing on improving the navigability because there's a freaking ton of things in there. So also, if you have any kind of feedback, also please like there's a there's a link in the resource as well so you can give any kind of feedback that you might get but yeah stay tuned to our social media we'll share it like really really make sure that everyone that follows sees that but we'll be sharing that when it's done but it will be done pretty soon so keep an eye out for it amazing I, I just want to point out, y'all have seen many good, amazing, big, beautiful resources from me personally, as well as from the Indie Game Academy. This, quite literally, I'm a man who exaggerates, I am not exaggerating, dwarfs all of them in comparison. So go check it out right now. It's already ha It already has an incredible amount of resources, an incredible amount of help for a bunch of different fields, and it really goes down like pretty far into pretty specific niches. Um, the only real problem with it is that it's not very navigatable right now because we just put so much in it. So we're making the UX a little better, which we're going to do. We're going to release V2, um, but it's already there. Go check it out. All right. Let's talk about the House Cup. So we have this core game that we play here at the Indie Game Academy, which is the House Cup, where four ancient and noble houses, House Cleric, House Warrior, House Ranger, and House Rogue, compete to win the House Cup every six months, every semester. So before I talk about the next cup, let's just address the last cup. House Cup number six was won by the clerics oh wow <laughs> most of us already knew this but in case you didn't <laughs> clerics took home the sixth house cup they won the pitch contest um and not only did they win but honestly they were dominating for most of the semester um it was neck and neck to some degree for the whole semester but clerics really uh brought it home uh this is now the cup history to date so rangers uh have been about two years without a cup warriors are still missing a cup warriors i want to see you step up and kick butt um, and then uh, rogues and clerics have been wrestling for the past two years uh, to be the dominant house. A new cup has begun. House Cup 7 has just started. We actually awarded our first points at GDC. Some of you may be from GDC. Hello. Welcome. We're so Hi. happy to have you here. Hello. Um, we're GDC members. We're able to earn one House Cup point by doing a little quest for us at the act actual event. Um, I'm really excited to announce a new tracking system. So those who have been with us for a while know that the House Cup can be a little jank sometimes <laughs> and can sometimes take a long time to get updated. So we've actually paid for this service called Keep the Score, um, which is a simple way of us tracking where points are coming from into the different houses. And you'll see it actually gets broken down by person. And then and this is public and updated live. So every time those who are um, allowed to give points, which is all the heads of house as well as myself, um, add points. It will be updated, and we'll put this in the House Cup channel to be live all the time. So you can see who is winning and which individual contributors are contributing the most. You can see all the GDC people kind of got lumped into one person. Um, so people are going to have to compete pretty hard to uh, beat the GDC Wizards. 
Uh, oh, that's weird. I put a house cup question here. So the first person to type in the chat, the three core agreements we always ask from those who come to our online events, we'll get our first three house cup points. Type it out in the chat. If you answer the question correctly, <laughs> you get three points. DJ, DJ. wrecked it. Yes. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun, be kind, celebrate. DJ, which house would you chocolate freedom and respect? I know it's I know it's gonna be cleric, DJ, right? It's gonna be cleric. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, it's in my clipboard. DJ, oh, it is cleric. All right. So I wanted to do a little live demo uh, of how quickly this will now be updated. Uh, so if we come down to the clerics, we can add the player DJ. DJ, do you want more than just DJ there? Or should I just put DJ? It's probably, it's probably DJ Salad. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> All right. DJ Salad has earned three points for clerics. Incredible. Wow. Look at that response. That's already pulling ahead. <laughs> All right. So there's also a couple of new ways to earn points. Uh, so this uh, is now true. Anytime you host a lecture of your own, anytime you host a community lecture, a sanctioned, I should say, community lecture, you are now eligible to give up to five points to your attendees. Um, so that's that nepotism we're talking about. Um, anybody who does something cool in your class or is just good to somebody in the class or exemplifies our values, anything you deem worthy of some points. You will also be able to earn up to five points by finding us at IRL events. We're trying to hit more in real life events this year. And we're also actually trying to empower you, the community, to run your own um, in real life IGA events. We might give out some points there as well. And finally, uh, you'll earn three points. And Ulysses, you have to remember this because I forgot it. <laughs> Anytime we do an indie dev share, you're, uh, you'll instantly earn three points for getting an indie dev share. Um, so share your cool stuff with us. It's great content for us, and it's a great way for you to get promoted, um, for people to see what you're building. Uh, all right. Here's how you can earn points. This is, in general, the main ways that points are earned at the Indie Game Academy. You can answer questions at events and classes like this one for one to five points. You can find us at IRL events for one to five points. You can get featured on Indie Dev Share for three. You can get spotted by a head of house. So our heads of house have a point allotment they're allowed to give out every month. Um, so if you do something cool, especially if you exemplify our values at the school, so if you're kind to other people, if you celebrate other people, if you help somebody out, um, and they spot that and think that it's worth some points, they can award points. They are they have that power. Um, you can also host a game night for five points. You can host your own class, like we said, for ten, or you can host a live case study where you talk about design and development of a game and what you feel like we can all learn from it for 15 points. Oh, weird. I put a second one in here. This one's a little harder. Hmm. What are the three educational pillars at the Indie Game Academy? What are our three unique qualifying characteristics at the Indie Game Academy? Anybody got it? I'm going to give you like 10 or 15 seconds. Darn, this one isn't like oh, the <laughs> Wait to the party, but please to be here. Wizard hats, towel robes, Willem. Pretty close, Chase. <laughs> There's three things. You'll recognize this. There's three things we do differently than other online educational spaces. What are those three things? I'll give you ten more seconds for three more house cup points. Ulysses nailed it. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Also. Hi, Tim. <laughs> All right. Five more seconds. Does anybody know? Unique aspects of education. Empower. I'm, I mean, you're not wrong. All right, I'll give you the first one. If somebody can guess the other two, they'll get points. The first one is multidisciplinary teamwork. What is number two and three? Five seconds. Four. Three. <laughs> multidisciplinary teamwork. Publishers. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I applaud the guess. <laughs> Uh, publish slash release game. Yes, that's pretty much it, Ari. Ari, if you can tell me what the third one is, I'll give it to you. So it is multidisciplinary teamwork. It is project-based learning. It's making sure that you're actually releasing games and not just working on practice projects. And the third one is also one of our core agreements. What is the third one? The third way we approach educational differently. Education differently. Have fun! Yes, Art Muse! I'm going to split up these points. I'll give two to Ari. Ari, let me know which house you want to give it to. And I'll give one to Art Muse for uh, the have fun. Clerics. Cleric, please, to Aerie. <laughs> Freaking clerics! Are they always winning? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aerie Nova for two points. 
And then uh, Art Range wants to go to Rangers. Art Muse, excuse me. Art Muse 62. Look at how fast I'm... Oh, wait. Were you guys not actually able to see this when I punched it in? Oh, you are seeing it. That's good. Okay, great. <laughs> Share this to everybody. Here you go. Come see it. All right. Amazing. So that is how the house cup is changing. Don't forget about your heads of house. We have four heads of house here at the Indigame Academy. Dylan Craggle, a head of house warrior. Hamna Faisal, head of house ranger. Jessica Rowley in this room, head of house cleric. And Lucius Rubino, head of house rogue. All of them have points to give out every month. If you do something cool in front of them, they might just give you points. All right. Let me give you dates on the next level one, two, and three. Uh, our uh, level one class is honestly perfect, and we're not really changing much about it. <laughs> we are <laughs> we're adding 10-minute breaks to both days so that people can take off, have a little food, use the bathroom. That's one small change we're making. And, of course, we're always striving for better lectures and better professors. Um, our next class is coming up next weekend, April 6th and 7th, where we're building an endless runner game in Unity. We'd love to have you there. Um, so here is... Uh, actually, I can just copy this. Here is the link to join if you'd like to come and join level one. Um, and if you use this code, because I'm nice, uh, you'll get 25% off. We'll get that down to 25 bucks for eight hours of live classes. Eight hours of live classes for 25 bucks with seven professors. Pretty good deal, in my opinion. Level two is probably changing the most. We're making pretty significant changes to level two to try to make it a little bit better. Number one, we're going from four weeks to five weeks and not increasing the price for that change. Number two, we're going, uh, class days are going to be more generalized. So we're going actually a little bit less heavy into code. There will still be assignments that you can do to get more heavy into code, but we want to make it a little bit more friendly to those who are not coders. Number three, our discipline videos. You get one video per week in your discipline. Well, now, instead of being generalized, will now be specific to your game, and you will get actual assignments from those professors to implement in your game, in your discipline. Um, so for those who may not be clear, uh, this is a month-long or now a five-week-long live a class to get you introduced to the base tech tools, the game engine, uh, source control, as well as ticketing software. So uh, every week you would get uh, two uh, two-hour classes with a professor with generalized lessons inside of Unity, and then you also get one video from a professor in your discipline, whether it be art or audio design or narrative design, and they'll give you actual assignments to apply to your game. Um, and finally, collaboration will now be allowed. We're not going to uh, force people to work with other people, but if you wish to, you will now be allowed to work with other people on your games in level two and more changes that we're going to announce as we get closer. Um, the next level two is coming up. We would love to have you apply if it sounds interesting to you. There will be more details here in this sheet. Uh, and uh, this is going to be the last one at 1200 bucks. Uh, it is a little bit difficult for us to host as much as we do at the $1,200 mark. So we are going to be raising the prices, not dramatically, but we are going to be raising them for the next cohort come August. This is the last one at $1,200. If you want to do a level two, now is the time. And finally, level three. Honestly, level three is pretty dope, too. We probably won't change that much. <laughs> um, but we are going to make some small changes at the beginning of our level three. This is our four-month-long program where you form a team. You essentially do a practice indie studio. You create an entirely new game from scratch, and then you publish and release it to a store of your choice before pitching it to publishers. Um, in level three, we're going to make a couple changes. Number one, you're going to start by identifying a market opportunity first. You're not going to jump straight into brainstorming. You're instead going to tell us how you think you can make money, and then you're going to brainstorm based off of that assumption. Um, you're also going to have to get your concept greenlit by a publisher first. You cannot start brainstorming until they think you've actually identified a market opportunity. Basically, we want to uh, imbue more business into level three. The next level three is coming up June 11th. That does represent a small change. Um, for those who are eagle-eyed, it used to be June 4th. We moved it back by one week just for scheduling reasons. So it is a week later than we told you before. Um, here is the application if you want to come join us for level three. Uh, that wasn't right. There you go. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's that's weird. I feel like I feel like something else belongs here after level three, but I don't know. That must be that's for another day, I guess. We'll talk about that right now. <laughs> All right, let's wrap up our season announcement. So, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. What the heck? Something. <laughs> is approaching and i think it's another video made by ulysses <laughs> uh hold on here we have a teaser trailer for you if this will play do we have to slideshow it there we go 
All right. Here's a teaser reveal um, from the IGA team to all of you. Basically, we thought the Game Awards really sucked this year, so we're going to make our own Game Awards, and they're going to be better. <laughs> uh, if also, everyone you would who like involved, early bird really tickets. Good job, uh, and it seemed like it was a really nice event to attend, yes. um, and everyone there is welcome to come to our event. <laughs> yes. We love you. Uh, celebrations of games are welcome all around, but we want to celebrate indie games better. We want to give them more shout-outs. Um, so we are going to be running our own award show towards the end of Q4, towards the end of this year. Um, Ulysses is dropping a link in the chat. Um, that is simply an expression of interest to help us start to judge how many people are going to come. So it is totally free. We're not going to uh, add you to our email list or anything like that. We will email you about the event, but that's it. So if you are interested in coming and joining IGA by IGA, the Indie Game Awards, we'd love to have you. It is an online-only indie-focused award show. More details definitely to come. All right. We are truly at the end of the show. Um, before you go, I have one gift for you, which you may have seen before, and that is a nice, beautiful flowchart. Uh, actually, this... Yes, great. A nice, beautiful flowchart on starting your own studio. So if you are interested in starting your own studio, this is something we built uh, a few months ago. We'll be updating as we learn more from our partners and our community on how to actually run your own studio. But here is your first stab at it. This will hopefully teach you a little bit about what you need to know to run your own studios. More stuff coming as well. Industry data and insights, new partnerships, brand new website, other cool stuff. That is actually it. Welcome to Season 3, Founders Beginnings. I hope you are all excited to run your own studios, to at least learn how to start your own studios, even if it's not for you today. Um, and I'm just pumped to see more indie games represented in our market and in our industry. Amazing. Can we get one big like round of applause, Fs in chat, clapping emojis, your favorite gifts of celebration for Season 3 of the Indie Game Academy? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We'll hang out for like uh we'll hang out for like five or ten minutes. If anybody has any questions they want to drop in chat. Um Ulysses and Jess, do you have anything that you want to uh add? Um No, I don't think so. <laughs> Sweet. Then ask <laughs> what stuff is free? <laughs> Almost everyone. <laughs> Um, except yeah. for level one, level two, level three. Those are our paid programs. Uh, but everything else that we bring here is 100% completely free. There's no buy-in. We're not going to ask for money. Or you're not going to show up. And then we ask you to send us $5 if you would like Plot to. Twist. <laughs> we do have a coffee account if anyone is interested in um, helping us out uh, for all of the work that we do. But it's not at all a requirement. Um, we just, we make all of this, uh, purely out of our own love and desire to see all of you guys grow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just to echo that again, for anyone who is unsure or who is unfamiliar with us, literally everything we put on is free except for level one, two, and three. Um, and that's because one, we want to uplift the industry, but we know that um, everything that you get from us for free will help you, will like make you consider level one, two, and three at some point. They're wonderful programs. We'd love to have you in, but you're totally welcome. We want you to be around and hang out and come to all these classes for free. So those panels with those cool people we talked about, those are free. The uh, Publisher 101 that we talked about, that's free. The Game Jam, that's free. Um, we put on as much as we can uh, while still being able to pay our team. <laughs> for free. <laughs> <laughs> um, Surya hey, asked what the emerging for free. <laughs> <laughs> pay your team for free. For free. Um, Surya asks what the emerging market scholarship levels are for level three. We haven't decided that yet, Surya, which is why we actually didn't announce it. Um, those will be uh, available for the three for the next level three coming up in June. Um, so we just need to decide exactly what it is. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that it'll be somewhere between $500 and $900 USD for the four-month-long program. 
Um, but uh, I can't confirm that quite yet. <clears throat> Any other questions in this last minute or two? Are people pumped? I'm pumped. Yeah. I always like pulling really for the season. <laughs> yeah. How do I network with other founders? Ooh. Good question. That's like a well, coffee bot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, great question, Alec. Um, Alec asks, any crazy perks for repeat level three years? So this is always true. This has been true since the very beginning. If you ever repeat one of the programs you have already taken, if you repeat level two, if you repeat level three, you just instantly get 50% off the top. Um, that's something that we, that we always offer because we love having people come back. So if you want to come, come do level three again, you get 50% off of level three. If you want to come do level two again, you get 50% off of level two. Um, and that also goes downwards. So if you've already done level three but have never done a level two, you can get 50% off of that as well. That's just a standard forever. Once you do our class once, you get that forever. Absolutely, Alec. <laughs> Christy oh, says, I'm a repeat. It's worth it. <laughs> it is oh, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Salar asks, what is CoffeeBot? Uh, I can go a little bit more into what CoffeeBot is. CoffeeBot is essentially, um, it'll be like a special role that you have by opting into CoffeeBot. And every week or whatever the cadence is that I set, it will match you with a different person who is within this coffee club. Um, and then it'll encourage you to send them a message, uh, introducing yourself, um, and just getting to know somebody else in the Discord that you may know, you may have seen around, you may not know. Um, it's just another way to uh, connect with people um, within the Discord. Um, and we do encourage, you know, connecting on LinkedIn, talk about what your projects are, talk about your ambitions, um, potentially find some mentorship. Um, just a nice way to, like, get to know other people. But mm -hmm. to emphasize, we do want this to be professional. Please conduct yourself in a professional manner. Um, and if there are any instances in which you do feel less comfortable, please come to me directly um, so I can uh, ensure that you can remain comfortable in this space. That's a number one priority for us here. 100%. And it's okay questions? if you I actually think. <laughs> People You're are asking for T bot, bot Jess. T bot? Okay, I'll let's change it to T bot. <laughs> you can name it something no, cuter I... than Coffee Bot, because it's just the app is called Coffee oh. Bot. We can name it whatever we want. It can be the IGA Matcha Club or something like that. <laughs> Boba Bot. Can we this drink? Boba <laughs> Bot. Monster Energy Bot. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I actually think it's a great idea for us to do a founders networking event at some point, though. Um, founders to hang out together and talk about stuff. Any other last questions? Maybe we'll take, like, one more. Uh, oh, and John asked earlier, actually, uh, what if we don't want to be the one running the studio, but we want to help found a studio? Great question. I think something that we can uh, put together, this is not in the plan, um, but I think something that would be a great idea is just like some kind of networking help um, for founding studios. Um, but that's not something we have figured out quite yet. The people cauldron. <laughs> Oh. Wait, that's pretty uh, good. I don't no, kind of like it. Day, but I'm not going to name it the People Cauldron. <laughs> Wait, I love it. <laughs> I just feel like it sounds like a bunch of people in a cauldron. Uh, yeah. The people's, the people's Cauldron. Or we can call it like Witches it is. Brew. Wait, what if we call it like Witches Brew? <laughs> Witches Brew Club. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Throw out your, uh, what your uh, ideas are. <laughs> Yeah, we can ask for names. Oh, All right. Awesome. <laughs> uh, which is brew has a special meaning for Chrissy. I love it. All right. It is the end of the announcement event. I hope you all had a ton of fun. Um, Mark, I'm going to send you a folder. Uh, and actually, anybody who uh, recorded, would you DM me? Just send me a message or a friend request if you can't DM me. Um, and then I'll get those set up and I'll also give you some points for being awesome and recording. I don't know why OBS is such a jerk. I'm going to uninstall it and see if it fixes itself. All right, everybody. This has been lovely. I am so excited for season three. You will see, by the way, in the top left of the Discord, our banner will immediately change here over to season three. And that always stays up to date with the current season. Um, so let's give one big, massive round of applause for all of you for being here. This has been so much fun. I love this community and I'm so grateful it's continued to grow. Thank you all for being awesome. You're breathtaking. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Don't end. <laughs> Don't end. Dev, there's more. There's more. <laughs> Just look at the events. There's always events. We run like two to four events every single week, and almost all of them are free. So come join us for the next one. All right. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. I don't know what that voice was. Adios. Say hello later,